Hey everybody, this is Jerichos and welcome to another One Shot Saturday. Today, I'm going to be playing V. This is one of my all-time favorite games. I love coming back to this time and time again. So, let's jump right in. Now I'm going to start a brand new game, but I'm going to do something different. It's going to play in flip mode. Flip the entire game vertically. So if you play the game before but haven't tried this, it's going to, well, let's just say turn it on its head. Here we are on a spaceship. Uh-oh. Is everything okay? No, we've hit the Ninstar elevator defense. Something's wrong. We're going to crash. Evacuate! And we have six of us. We use the teleporter to escape. Whew, that was scary. At least we all escaped, right guys? Guys? Oh, he looks so sad. So yep, we can use the WASD or arrow keys to move. And you press the action button, which is space, or V if you want to, to flip. You don't jump in this game. You invert gravity every time you flip. I wonder why the ship teleported me here all alone. I hope everyone else got out okay. These are checkpoints. Hit one of these, and if you die, you get sent right back. So, I'll tell you right now, in this game, everything will kill you. Touch something moving, you'll die. Touch a spike, you'll die. Touch a random glowing orb. Well, in this case you won't die. These are collectibles. Shiny trinkets. There are 20 of them in the game. Don't worry if you die, you get sent back to the checkpoint, you still keep your trinket. Ooh, terminal. You can get some extra information from these. Personal log. Almost, evacu almost everyone has been evacuated from the space station now. The rest of us are leaving in a couple of days, once our research has been completed. Okay, so space station was mostly abandoned, it sounds like. Possibly even completely abandoned by the time we got here. And avoid him. Now here's a new mechanic. Platforms that will disappear when you step on them. You gotta move fast. Help, can anyone hear this message? Violet, is that you? Captain, you're okay. Something has gone horribly wrong with the ship's teleporter. I think everyone has been teleported away randomly. They could be anywhere. Oh, no. I'm on the ship. It's damaged badly, but it's still intact. Where are you, Captain? I'm on some sort of space station. It seems pretty modern. There seems to be some sort of interference in this dimension. I'm broadcasting the coordinates of the ship to you now. Oh, so we're not too far away. I can't teleport you back, but if you can find a teleporter anywhere nearby, you should be able to teleport back to me. Okay, I'll try to find one. Good luck, Captain. I'll keep trying to find the rest of the crew. And so, our quest begins to save our crew and get back to the ship. And this moving platform, you just have to get on and, you know, don't move. Let it transport you where you need to go. Ah, uh, these can be a little tricky. You just gotta run at the right time. Here. Ooh, it's another one of those shiny things. I probably don't really need it, but it might be nice to get back to the ship to study. So that shows these are optional. You do not need them to beat the game, but if you want to go for completion, you need to get all 20. And... There we go. And like I said, just go ahead and die, and it sends you right back to the checkpoint. Enter, you can view the map, bring it up here, which it fills out as you go. Look at the crew, you've got all the characters Viridian, Violet, who we were talking to on the ship, Vitillary, Vermilion, Vertigris, and Victoria. And you can even see your stats, trinkets, deaths, how long you played, and a quick save. Oop, this guy coming up, gotta run quick and flip. Alright, here we go. Now, this is the first puzzle that will give most players a lot of trouble. You have to go to the side, and then back to the middle, then back to the side again. Not too bad once you've played a while. Oh, here it says you can use up and down instead of the action button if you wish. I usually use spacebar, but, you know, change it up sometimes. Now, let's avoid these guys, and... A teleporter! And as we teleport back, I gotta say, I 
love the music in this game. So fantastic. Captain! First level has been completed, and we've rescued a crew member. So, Doctor, have you any idea what caused the crash? There's some sort of bizarre signal here that's interfering with our equipment. It's caused the ship to lose its quantum position, collapsing us into this dimension. Oh no! But I think we should be able to fix the ship and get out of here, as long as we can find the rest of the crew. We really don't know anything about this place. Our friends could be anywhere. They could be lost or in danger. Can they teleport back here? Not unless they find some way to communicate with us. We can't pick up their signal, and they can't teleport here unless they know where the ship is. So, what do we do? We need to find them, head out into the dimension, and look for anywhere they might have ended up. Okay, where do we start? Well, I've been trying to find them with the ship's scanners. It's not working, but I did find something. Points of interest on the map. These points show up on our scans as having high energy patterns. There's a good chance they're teleporters, which means they're probably built near something important. They could be a very good place to start looking. Okay, I'll head out and see what I can find. I'll be right here if you need any help. Now here, this room has nothing when you start, but as you keep playing and finding trinkets, you'll unlock different music from the soundtrack. For example, pressure cooker. You'll come to know this one later, but my absolute favorite song in this game has to be Passion for Exploring. This seems like a good place to store those shiny things. Victoria loves to study the interesting things we find on our adventures. I hope she's okay. So I'm going to exit the ship and explore a bit, but I'm going to be silent for a sec so you can listen to this amazing music. Such a great song. Now, here we found one of those teleporters. If you're standing next to one, you can press enter and instantly teleport to any one you've activated already. Plus, it acts as a hard save point. And here, we've encountered our first special level. Get ready to bounce. New mechanic, these are bouncy ropes. When you hit them, they will automatically flip you back the way you came. Not too bad at first, but it will get more difficult as we go. So be prepared for that. You also want to activate every terminal you see. It turns out the key to stabilizing this dimension was to create a balancing force outside of it. Though it looks like that's just a temporary solution at best. I've been working on something more permanent, but it seems it's going to be too late. So, bit of plot there. Kind of nice, you get to find out details about that. Ooh. Alright, here we go. This challenge, we have to go just to the right of this line and come back. There we go. Oops. Hey, there we are. Now, somewhat tough part, gotta get back out. Because that checkpoint, you can't just die and go back to where you were. Okay, and... Hey, there we go, we're out of there. Some of these trick is just finding the right pattern to hit the button. Oops, a little too far. A little too short. And the Goldilocks just right. Syntax error. No, well, that one doesn't help us any. Oops. And I just jumped right into spikes. There we go. Sometimes the best thing to do is just stand still. Follow the motion and wait to make your jump until the next time. For your mind, here's a fun little trick. Run straight off the edge and you'll bounce past the first obstacle completely safely. Second one, you have to time it a little bit. 
this brings up a fun point here. Every room has a name. Well, at least within the levels. And they're often fun little jokes. Sometimes it means nothing. Sometimes it has a fun tie-in, such as Free Your Mind, Thelma, and then I've ch or Free Your Mind, and then I've changed my mind, Thelma. Ooh. Teleporter. Kinda cool that we have one in the level here. And a little bonus section. Kind of a maze. Access to the control center is still possible through the main atmospheric filters. See, sometimes these terminals will put key points filled in on your map. There's actually one specific terminal that fills in a bonus area that you cannot add to your map unless you inspect the terminal. Hey, fourth trinket. Pretty cool. Now, let's go up this way and head back. We're almost through this section, I want to say. So, rock it up. Ooh, saw a trinket there. I'm going to have to go for it. There we go, not too bad. Already found a quarter of the trinkets. How hard could it be to find them all? Oh, I'll tell you, very hard. There are two in particular that will try your patience, even if you are an avid platformer. One is known as doing it the hard way. The other is Vini Vidi Vici. Oh that one. So many tears have been shed over that trinket. Oh, hey, I made that first jump. Little secret area here. Keep going, and crazy Tetris room. Oh, hey, okay, another trinket. What are we up to six? Purest unobtainium. All right. Now our last checkpoint we hit. Funny, this is kind of a preview of the area. This was directly above us, so let's just impale ourselves on the spikes to get back up. Now, I need to go up just slightly. Not quite enough. There we go, and bounce on through. Move up enough. Ooh, there we are. We've got a one way path here, but we go through, we find. Victoria! Oh no, Captain, are you stuck here too? It's okay, I'm here to rescue you. Let me explain everything. And with a quick transition, we get the explanation, but she didn't get it. Oh, well, don't worry. Follow me, everything will be alright. Really? Okay then. I love it, she's smiling now. And, with this teleporter, we can go back to the ship and save Victoria. Another level complete. Only three crew members left to rescue. And each crew member will occupy a different part of the ship. Coincidentally, it matches her color. What do you have to say? I'm so glad to be back. That lab was so dark and scary, I didn't like it at all. Let's keep talking to her here. Hey Captain, I found this in that lab. Yep, one of the trinkets, you have to talk to Victoria a couple times to get her to give it to you. That was actually the last trinket for me to find the first time I played the game. I didn't know about it. Any idea what it does? Sorry, I don't know. They seem important, though. Maybe something will happen if we find them all. What do you say now? Any signs of Professor Vitillary? Sorry, not yet. I hope he's okay. Why did I go deep voice there? That made no sense. Welcome back, Captain. I think Victoria is quite happy to be back on the ship. She really doesn't like adventuring. She gets very homesick. Alright, so we went up and to the left last time. This time, let's go down to the right. Yeah, explore this way here. Ooh, hello. There's a path there. Where does this lead to? Ooh, just loops around here. Hmm. We'll go down this way. Hey, teleporter. And a terminal. Our first breakthrough was the creation of the inversion plate, which creates a mirror dimension beyond a given event horizon. Apparently, I've already found it. That must be talking about the bounce strings. So, alright, well, got that teleporter. 
let's keep following this wall and oh, we're going up higher and higher. Ah, avoid the spikes and as I say it, I get stabbed. It's nice, there's not a whole lot of big punishment for death in this game, so it can be fun to experiment. Here we go. Where are we going to find this way? Another teleporter and... Oh, this one. This is a fun stage. Welcome to the tower. And that's weird. My game's audio is glitching up. Not really sure why, but... Yeah, must have been something wrong with the last time I installed the game. But here, normally, you're going up the tower, so it's a little weird here to be going down. The point is, you have to go very quickly, because if you get too far toward the top or bottom, spikes appear. You just saw them there. That will kill you! So, you gotta move quickly. But, there are a couple places that you have to move extra quick to get some trinkets. This one here is a little tougher than the previous one. Because you not only have to move quickly, whoops, you have to have pinpoint precision landings in two places. Sorry about the weird audio, don't know why the game's doing this, but, well, nothing I can really do about it now short of going back and completely reinstalling and re-recording, so we'll run with it. This won't take too long to get through, uh, assuming I don't keep dying. We can do this. And. Aha! Made it! Trinket! Yeah. This tower is just one giant tube. You can ride it all the way from one end of the map up and around back to where you started from, practically. So, it's a big section. Yeah, you gotta do some flipping to get through here safely. I love that it wraps around side to side. It's a cool mechanic. This game really does do the platforming different than any other game I've encountered. And frankly, I think that's awesome. And the fact that this was made by one guy, Terry Kavanaugh, all the more amazing. There we go, we can make this. Almost to the end. Just trust me on this, we are. Oh! Threat. Now, this way. I guess I didn't need to drop there. Here we go! We've made it through and... Saved the red one whose name I can't remember. Captain, am I ever glad to see you? I thought I was the only one to escape the ship. Vermilion, I knew you'd be okay. So, what's the situation? I see. Well, we'd better get back then. There's a teleporter in the next room. Alright, let's teleport and get to some different music. Level complete. I love going through the tower. It's so much fun. But here... We are not back on the ship. Wow. Where are we? This isn't right. Something must have gone wrong with the teleporter. Oh well, we can work it out when we get back to the ship. Let's go exploring! Okay then! When you're standing on the ceiling, he will try to walk to you, or floor normally. If you're standing on the opposite side, he won't. You have to get him through every room. So here, he won't follow until you get back on the other side. That's the mechanic of this section. So it can be tricky, because if he dies, you go back to a checkpoint same as if you died. Hey, Viridian, how did the sh crash happen exactly? Oh, I don't really know. Some sort of interference. Or something sciencey like that. It's not really my area. Uh, well, do you think we'll be able to fix the ship and go home? Of course. Everything will be okay. So, let's move on and... This can be a tricky part. Can run. Oh, see, there we go. He at least stays in that room. And... 
quickly, and there we go, got him safely across. Hi again, you doing okay? I think so, but I really want to get back to the ship. We'll be okay, if we can find a teleporter somewhere, we should be able to get back. Yeah, considering it's a teleporter that got us here in the first place. I like this level, this stage name. Now stay close to me, but not too close. So here, we gotta time it just right to get him to run on the platform and stop before he kills himself and go a little further. Now, here, you have to drop up there and make it safely without landing on the platform. Because if you land on this platform, he'll fall in the spikes. Here we go, another checkpoint. Are we there yet? We're getting closer, I think. I hope. Now do as I say, not as I do. So we have to do this quickly, because you only get one shot at it or they'll kill you. Whoops, and I didn't mean to jump yet. So we have to get over to that platform and lure him to the platforms to get him across. Oops, see, they're pointing case. Stabbed in the head. This can be a tough stage. Oop, okay. And one more, and we got him. And now, the fun part, we have to get ourselves back across. And safely across the same way he went. There we go. I wonder, where are we anyway? This seems different from that dimension we crashed in somehow. I don't know, but we must be close to a teleporter by now. Mind your head. And ooh, this one. This one really messes with me on flip mode. Because this is one of the harder ones, and I got really used to it in normal mode. Okay, whoops. <laughs> Play it safe. Oops. And... Ooh, that was almost really bad. Okay, we can do this. I need to do it right as I'm getting ready to go past it. Just slightly too early. Darn it. Okay. Went too far there. Yeah, the trick is you gotta get all the way to the edge to get him to go far enough over to be safe. We made it! Now for one that's just slightly annoying. You gotta go all the way over here to get him to fall down. And then you gotta go back over here to get him to fall again. And... We made it! Class dismissed. We're there! See? I told you. Let's get back to the ship. time we do arrive on the ship. So, what do you have to say, Vermilion? That other dimension was really strange, wasn't it? I wonder what caused the teleporter to send us there. Nothing of importance. And you know what? Let's talk to Violet. Vermilion called in to say hello. He's really looking forward to helping you find the rest of the crew. You'll actually find him out and about in the dimension, pointing you to places you may not have thought to look. What about you, Victoria? You found Vermilion. Great! I wish he wasn't so reckless. He'll get himself into trouble. So, here we are. We have saved three of the true members. So, counting Viridian, that's four out of six. Well, this video I won't save the other two, but I leave that to you to play. It's a lot of fun to explore. Fill out the whole map, find all the trinkets. Still got half of them to go. We died 40 times. That's not too bad, but eh, a little lower than my usual standard. 23 minutes, not bad at all. And make a quick save. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any recommendations for future One-Shot Saturdays, be they good games or bad, new, old, doesn't matter. Let me know. Leave a note in the comments and I'll be sure to check it out. If you've enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe and feel free to follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you guys next time.